always wanted to paint. Or maybe you want to extend your painting skills. Now I'd love to help you on your journey. So welcome to this series of fun and informative short videos giving hints, tips and revelations to help make your paintings really come to life. Come, let's have a look and I'll show you what I mean. Now I'm always being asked about the colours that I use. It's taken me a long time to narrow down the limited palette that I use. I only have 12 colours. They're mostly transparent and some are semi-transparent. The brand that I favour is Shemenka because the pigment is so finely ground. It absorbs into the centre of the paper. It then allows me to create lots of washes over the top without creating mud. It's, it's an absolutely brilliant quality paint. And the reason why it works so well is because my colours are transparent or semi-transparent. Now I use two yellows. The cool yellow, this one is a Rulian Modern. Indian yellow is also another yellow that I use. This one is a warm yellow. Both of these are transparent. Translucent orange is a beautiful colour. I use that all the time. It has a great place on my palette. Then we have scarlet red. Scarlet red is a middle of the road red. It's not particularly warm and it's not particularly cool. It's a colour that I use very often too. Alizarin Crimson. Of course, Alizarin Crimson is transparent and it's also a staining colour. It has a lot of power and I use that property all the time. Ruby Red. Now this is a quinacridone pinky red. It's a little bit more blue than the, uh, trans uh, than the Alizarin Crimson. This is ideal for many things, including flowers. Purple magenta. Purple magenta is a colour that is great for mixing. It's also great for flowers. You can cre create the most beautiful, beautiful purple using purple magenta with just a touch of phthalo green. Now we have phthalo blue. Phthalo blue is a very strong, staining, transparent colour. Wonderful for mixing. Very, very powerful. Ultramarine blue is another colour that I wouldn't be able to mix and I need this on my palette. It's a colour that I never used to use very often but now I, I do use it. Particularly if I'm painting something like somebody's eye that has that beautiful clear blue. This is wonderful for that. But I tend not to use this if I'm painting skin because it is a sedimentary colour and we certainly don't want any light little spots on faces or on petals if we're using it in our shadow colours on our petals. If I'm going to use, if I need a blue, which generally I do, when I'm painting faces or petals or something like that, I'll use the phthalo blue for that. Phthalo green, just like phthalo blue, it's strong, it is very staining, and it's also transparent. Wonderful for mixes. It's not a colour that you would use on its own because it's very strident and it's not a natural green, but it's a green that I couldn't be without and it's wonderful when you're mixing blacks. Sap green. Now this sap green is very transparent. It's also, um, it's not particularly strong and I mix that with my translucent orange if I want to create a beautiful natural green. Something that is maybe a spring green, something that's vibrant. It really does uh, mix extremely well. And last but not least, Payne's Grey Bluish. I don't use this a great deal, but it's wonderful for backgrounds. If I've created a lovely, um, I don't know, um, leafy background, and I just want the um, leaves to just blend a little bit more into the background rather than coming too far forward, I'll use a wash or two of Payne's Grey Bluish, and it's just ideal. So that's the 12 colours that I use. As I said, they're Shremenka brand, and you can get them in a um, in one of my signature sets, which has a flip palette. 
but you can also buy them separately as well. So have fun with that, I'm sure that you'll love them as much as I do.